Hi. Let's define design and a designer as related to interior design. Uh, design is the process of using existing dots of diversity and rearranging them just to produce a functional and aesthetic solution. There is no actual or physical creation. So let's refer to it as a creative process, but it certainly does not create anything. I think only nature has the power to create and perhaps your mother has it. But apart from that, there is no real process of uh, creation. So what a designer does is keep on juggling with the materials and textures and colors and forms and uh, ideas and technologies available at hand and building materials and skills and resources and, and rearranging them differently uh, according to time and um, uh, the socioeconomic situation around. And therefore, to be able to do a good job as an interior designer, it's very important for a designer to understand for himself that just because he designs, he's not an artist. An artist is very different from a designer because an artist, A, does not get a job at the end of his degree. That's when he starts really playing out the hunger game and trying to create an identity for himself. A designer can go and apply for a job and get it next month. Uh, this apart, an artist has the freedom of his profession to say that I will make what I want to. It may be crazy, it may be valid, and the only judgment will come when somebody comes across who likes it and he buys it. And that moment of transaction is the completion of his work. For a designer, you are not doing something for your own delight. Because you are a creative-minded person, you've chosen a career as a designer, but you're working for fulfilling somebody else's needs. The need is not yours. The client had three more children and ran out of space and moved to a better home. The trader made more money. The industrialist needed a home to announce that he was now established. So the need always comes from some other place, and you are only addressing that needs. So try not to perpetuate yourself on somebody else's needs. And therefore, bringing it down to the functionality, I would say that it's not just enough to know which are the best three trade fairs in the world and, you know, what is hot and what is cool and 10, 30 picks and, you know, I mean, all that stuff is cool, but at a certain age, and maturity. The real process of it is understanding everything from the materials to the labor, to the process, uh, the surprises along the way, the economic control, the carbon footprint aspect, the emotional aspirations of the client, uh, the intellectual um, a sort of slants of your own uh, creative mind and ultimately the sort of awe-inspiring upliftment that you generate in several viewers who then see the project. All this is involved in your work. And uh, therefore, I would say that try and understand and update yourself with all the information and all the knowledge related to each one of these topics individually. We are going to have separate modules for them also that you can add on to. Because the more you know about things, the better you'll be able to mix them, juggle them, and use them. Otherwise, you know, people in this previous decade fusion had become a big thing. So, you know, you took any two cultures and put them together. Well, now you realize that even in food, that 
you know, when you take unlimited liberties of just putting things together either for their sensory pleasure or taste or, uh, you know, for their looks or for the cheapest reason of being novel, that you may end up spoiling somebody's stomach because, you know, those two materials may not be compatible with each other. Similarly, in interiors, try not to fuse too many unknown elements together because they have to work, they have to function. So you, you cannot have uh, walls fading and floors staining and, and you know, things just um, getting surprises after surprises simply because you just drew a sketch and then the contractor didn't know how to execute it and nobody knew what the material was. As a designer, it is your responsibility to understand the materiality, the process and the delivery and the fairness to all in this project. That is the tough part of being a designer, not putting colors together or textures together. And don't shortchange yourself or your client on that. You see, please refer to the list of um, those modules that we are going to introduce because those you can pick and choose according to your own uh, requirements. And, and those modules will teach you everything about a material to say that how is a veneer different from a wood? What is the meaning of a flitch when you talk of veneers? What is the difference between a laminate and this? Their price points, their availability, and of course their aesthetic merits and demerits. So I hope uh, you find some of those modules enjoyable.